Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Word 2016 and I'm going to show you how to adjust your line and paragraph spacing. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a Microsoft Word document here. What's on it isn't too important but I'm going to show you the differences between line and paragraph spacing and how to adjust the spacing on your line and paragraphs. So first thing that I want to do is turn on my paragraph markers. You can do that by going to the home tab paragraph group and clicking on the paragraph markers. Alright now the paragraph markers show you every time a new paragraph begins. So I'm going to take a look at these these paragraphs right down here. Now the first thing I want to show you is how to adjust your line spacing. So let's say that I want to choose this paragraph here. Okay, I'm going to triple click it to select that paragraph. And so I have this paragraph selected. Now whenever I want to adjust line spacing, what that's going to do is it's going to adjust the amount of space in between each line on my Word document. Now in this case, I have just this one paragraph selected. So if I, if I adjust the line spacing, it's only going to affect this one paragraph. So I'm going to go right here to the Home tab, to the Paragraph group, and right here it says line and paragraph spacing. So if I click this, this will help me choose how much space appears between lines of text or between paragraphs. So if I go right here and I click it, I could go right down here and I could choose 1.0, 1.15, 1.5, or 2.0, or even higher if I wanted to. Now if your teacher or professor ever says double space your documents, they are talking about 2.0 right there. So let's say I click this. Now notice that this paragraph now has 2.0, so double space between each line. Now I'm going to triple click this paragraph here. Now what does this paragraph have? How can I check that? The way that I could check that is by going to the Home tab, Paragraph group, and if you click this dialog box launcher here in the bottom right of the paragraph group, uh, it says Paragraph Settings Dialog Box Launcher. This will fine tune the layout of the current paragraph including spacing, indentation, and more. Let's go ahead and click on it. So I open this up, all right? And so notice that the line spacing and the paragraph spacing is right down here in this section. And right now it says multiple line spacing. If I click this, I could then choose if I want to do single, 1.5, double, exactly, uh, or multiple. Now if I choose exactly, if I click right there, uh, it'll basically allow me to choose the exact line spacing that I want in this section over here. If I choose double, it'll give me that 2.0 that I saw earlier. Now the last thing that I want to go over is the spacing uh, before and after the paragraph. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. Okay. And so I click OK. Now one thing I want you to notice is that the spacing on this paragraph has now been increased to double in between each um, line. However, if you notice this last line here, there's actually more spacing after the paragraph than any other line in this document. Same thing we can see up here. Why is there more spacing after the paragraph? That's because in our paragraph settings dialog box launcher, take a look right here in spacing, in the after section it's currently set to 8.0. Now what that 8.0 does is it increases the amount of space after the paragraph. If I say were to increase before, that would increase the amount of space before the paragraph begins. So if I decrease this, let's say to zero, I want you to take a look at the difference at the bottom of this paragraph. I click OK and down here now, notice that space has decreased. I'm going to hit Control Z right now to show you what it looked like before. See that? Just a slight difference. Okay, so that's your eight point difference right there. And so you can also adjust these settings in the Layout tab right here in the Spacing group. So in real time you can adjust the line spacing before and after the paragraph. For instance, if I click in Paragraph and I click After Up, you will see it increase by six points each time. So this is actually a better method to increase the amount of space after the paragraph if you want to give your sections a little bit more space in between them and a little bit separate of a look. This is going to be better than say going uh, down here and just pressing enter a bunch. Okay, that's not going to be um, quite as good because as you continue to type up in this paragraph or above your document, what's going to end up happening is it's going to push that text 
down and eventually you'll have an odd page break. So you don't want to do that. Typically, you're going to want to highlight the paragraph and adjust your line spacing. The last thing that I want to go over is if I wanted to do this all at once, I could do a control A to select my entire document and I could go to the home tab and I could adjust my paragraph settings. That way if I say wanted to set up my document double spaced with zero uh, after and zero before, I could just adjust those settings right there and I click OK and now take a look. Everything on here is now adjusted to zero after, zero before, and everything is double spaced. So hopefully you learned a little bit about line and paragraph spacing and what the difference is between the two and how to adjust them for your Microsoft Word documents. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.